Welcome to the Kingdom. I'm Chris, and this is Good Enough Gaming. Howdy folks, and welcome to this unscripted video. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but there have been a whole bunch of things I've been wanting to do really short videos on, and I thought, well, you know, 30 seconds is really not worth it. But they've all managed to come together in one, so here it is. So it's a new year. I'm a big fan of the whole new year, new army, or at least new year, new project idea. At the same time, Warhammer Old World is being re-released. The pre-order started just a couple days ago, and that was the game that got me into tabletop wargaming. So I'm really excited and cautiously optimistic about what Warhammer the Old World is going to bring. At the same time, as you've seen through some of my other videos, I don't like how much GW models are costing. So the other thing I wanted to bring into this video was some alternative STL files or miniature alternatives to make uh, fantasy armies out of, and as long as you're not planning on playing at an official GW store, you might be able to proxy these in uh, games of Warhammer Old World. So, New Year New Project, Warhammer Old World, and some potential proxies for using miniatures. So I always wanted to create a dwarf army, never got around to it before uh, Warhammer Fantasy died off, so I'm using the opportunity to do it now. And over the Christmas break, I had a chance to get my hands on some really, really cool miniatures for dwarves. And I wanted to show them off here. And uh, uh, I'll put links down in the description below for all of the um, websites where I got the STLs or the providers that actually printed the minis for me. Because I do have a 3D printer, but I'm still in a kind of a love-hate relationship with it. There are times when I think it's one of the greatest purchases I've ever made, and there's times where I wish I had just sunk all that into buying more miniatures. So some stuff I've printed, some stuff I've paid for other people to print. My printer's starting to get kind of dated. Uh, I bought it, and then shortly after I got it, the 4Ks came out, and now the 8Ks are coming out. So my printer's rapidly becoming a bit of a relic. But that doesn't mean it's not still useful. So let me show you what I got here. The bulk of the miniatures that I'm going to build my dwarf army from are coming from Highlands Miniatures, and I think their models are absolutely stellar. So I brought a couple of them here to show them off to you. So here we've got what in Warhammer terms would be the Longbeards, the veterans, the old guys. And these were ones I actually bought off of a printer from Etsy. So I got two different sets of minis from, uh, they're all Highland miniatures, but two different providers on Etsy. So here we got the, uh, the flamethrower guys, the, the, the iron drakes. And the ones in the lighter color came from, I believe it was a company called Big Wars Resin Hearts. And then the gray ones came from McGavern miniatures. So I placed an order with both of them on uh, part of a Black Friday sale because they were selling these at such a discount that it was cheaper in some instances for me to buy the print from them than to buy the STL. Now for troops, that might not have made much sense, but I bought some characters. Like for example, they sold a dwarf king that comes with a little terrain piece like this. And it was cheaper for me to have them print it than for me to buy the STL and print it myself. So why the heck not? They have better printers. They use better resin. I mean, they're just going to do a better job of it than I am. So I bought this one and a whole bunch of other stuff from one of those two places. Link in the description. Uh, the whole transaction was, was really good. Uh, they responded to um, communication really, really fast. I am super impressed with the sculpts. There's a few problems. You can even see this guy's axe is a little bit chipped. But uh, I was ordering like somewhere between 50, 75 models from each one. So I was going to be expecting a few errors. So, you know, you got to give some leeway there. But uh, the quality is absolutely fantastic. The sculpts are absolutely fantastic. So mad props to Highlands Miniatures. They make some fantastic uh, STL files. I know currently they have dwarves. They have what would be the equivalent of Empire, and they have some undead as well. So we've got their equivalent of Iron Drakes. We've got their Veterans, their long beards. Also picked up some crossbowmen and some gunners. I'll show those in a second. I mean, you look close. You have to look so hard at these to actually see the print lines. These things are so well done. Got a squad of miners. And what's cool is 
If you saw that recent article in Warhammer Old World, they talked about adding filler into uh, almost like a diorama type project for your units. So you don't have to have 20 guys, you only need, say, 14, and then the space of six is taken up by a diorama. Highland Miniatures includes those in some of their, um, their units. So the miners here come with one uh, scenery piece that's just a rock, another one that's a minecart but it can help you kind of bulk out your army without having to buy so many darn miniatures. I remember that was one of the big complaints about fantasy is you have to buy between 20, 30, if you're playing goblins, up to 60 minis for a single unit. So I like the idea of including uh, filler stuff and they have that too. They also got some pretty decent berserkers for your fire slayers. And they have bear cavalry. And I mean, who doesn't like dwarves riding bear cavalry? So these look fantastic. Now, to show you how these ones look once they're printed, these are just the, uh, the 3D printed, but once I've painted some of them, I brought out these guys to show you how they look. They take paint and primer really, really well. And there's just enough detail to make them interesting but not so much that it takes hours and hours just to paint one of them. So I can sit down and in a couple hours I can get a squad of five painted. So each night I've been trying to sit down and maybe get one squad of warriors, then a squad of the gunners, and then after that maybe a squad of the miners. And if I can keep that pace up, within a couple months I'll have the entire army done. I'll spend a little more time on the... Um, you know, characters and, and war machines and big things like that. But I think they're fantastic. We got here the king. This is the guy that goes on top of this piece here. When he's all done, he sits there like that. But to me, I think it's just the right level of detail. And they look absolutely fantastic. One of my complaints about GW's new uh, um, models is they look almost too good. And they have so many bits and bobs and details and gems and pendants, it, it, it's just too much. And it's okay if you want to do that on a hero character that you're going to spend a lot of time on and just paint one, but when you have a squad of 20 dwarves and you're planning on having three squads of 20 dwarves, that's just too much detail on one thing. Um, Highland Miniatures also includes artillery. I bought a couple of those, so I wanted to bring this to show you. This is one of their shorter field cannons, but they have catapults, they have, I mean, anything that you would have had in the Warhammer um, fantasy world, they print that too. I just don't have any, uh, any painted up. They also have the banners, and these sculpts, I think, all look absolutely great. So everything here that I've shown so far, that's from Highland Miniatures, printed by either Big Wars Resin Hearts or McGavern uh, Miniatures. And again, I'll put the links in the video below. There was another uh, STL place that I got some models from, and I'm going to butcher the name here because it's Japanese. Kyushuniko Miniatures. They have a dwarf army, and while I like their infantry, what I was really impressed with is they have these stone, like living statue models. And I, I mean, these things are absolutely huge, but the whole point of them um, is they're these giant constructs, if you want, or magically animated stones. But I printed out three of them, and I think they look fantastic as far as the prints go. And even where my printer had a little bit of a problem, you can't see it too much on this guy, but on one of them, the, uh, the print on the weapon here got offset, but it actually makes it look natural, like there's cracking in the stone. So these guys I've already finished up. I haven't based them yet, but super happy with how these came out. And that was Kyushinical Miniatures. And then, some of you might have pointed out, um, I'm on round bases if I'm going to be playing Warhammer Old World. Well, I'm hoping to use this army for one-page rules, fantasy, skirmish, reg uh, regiments, and Warhammer Old World. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to play with them at a Warhammer store because these aren't GW models. But everywhere else, I think they're close enough proxy that no one is going to have a question as to what this guy is actually supposed to represent. So to solve the problem of ranks, head on over to Litco Miniatures. You might also find people, find people on Etsy that sell these things as well. And you've got yourself the perfect way to stick them in regiments. Holds them fairly tight. Um, the basing can be a little bit of a headache here. 
getting this part. I know some people just don't worry about it. They'll just spray paint that and bait, base the individual models. And I mean, that's it's totally up to you how much time you want to spend. Um, I'm probably going to put texturing on all the top here so that once these guys sit down, it does look like a solid covering of, uh, of basing. But that's my new project. I'm looking forward to completing this. As I get individual units and models and things done, you'll start seeing them in some of the skirmish games. As I get more and more units completed, I'll start putting those in full Age of Fantasy games and hopefully get a few games of regiments. Right now, I don't have um, too many uh, friends who are able to come to the kingdom to play who have enough to do a regiments game, but we'll hopefully get there. And then we'll see how these guys do in Old World Fantasy. So, links for everything that I've uh, talked about so far in the description. Let me know what your guys' project is. What's your new year, new army? Um, is it something big? Is it something small? Are you trying out a new game? Are you going to add to an existing army? Let me know down in the comments below. And hopefully you guys will think that whatever project you start working on in 2024 is good enough. See you next time.